We introduced solids at four months and one week old. So uh, our son had just completed four months of life. And after about a week thereafter, we began introducing the simplest solid foods. And then we um, started supplementing with formula about two weeks after that. So when he was four weeks and four months and three weeks old, uh, we began supplementing with a bottle of formula, you know, uh, just pre-mixed, ready to go. Um, you know, eventually from there, the, um, uh, the breast feeding dwindled um, because what happens, as you may know, and I'm not sure I made this crystal clear in my video on breastfeeding, but you know, mom's breast milk is a miraculous demand and supply system where uh, the body will produce as much milk as the baby needs. And if you have twins, the body will produce that much more milk. And you know, in the olden days, back in the tribal villages and or even nowadays somewhere in the world, you know, if there's a, a woman who needs to breastfeed multiple families' kids for whatever reason, because mom can't, you know, produce or is uh, unable to, um, that woman's mammary glands will rise to the challenge and produce as much milk as necessary. I mean, I, I imagine there's some limits, you know, could one woman nurse an entire village? I don't know, but uh, definitely more than one kid uh, definitely more than just her own kids. You know, her body is uh, up up to the challenge, assuming that she's, um, you know, getting uh, sufficient calories and is healthy. Um, but if the demand is not there, then the breast milk supply will dwindle. So that's why it's important in the early going to bring the baby to the breast every two, two and a half hours in the first weeks, week or so, every two and a half to three hours for most of the fourth trimester as we keep calling it. Um, it's important to stay on that cycle, both because that's basically a, a, a newborn baby's metabolic rate, you know, at the time it takes for them to take a good nap and wake up hungry, ready for another feeding, uh, but also because it's gonna keep mom's milk supply revved up and ready to go uh, as you begin to introduce solids. And if you choose to supplement with formula, if you do these things, uh, then you'll see some uh, diminishing in her supply. And that's to be expected. You know, it wasn't a problem for us. Um, my wife, uh, you know, it, it, the breastfeeding from f five feedings a day, um, it uh, we brought it down to three breastfeeding sessions a day. You know, first thing in the morning before m uh, midday nap, and then before bed, and from there, uh, it went to two times a day, uh, first thing in the morning, and then before the midday nap. And then eventually it was just first thing in the morning, you know, as we uh, headed towards the end of the first year and then we just stopped all together. Um, so that's to be uh, expected. And, um, you know, it's, it's not a problem, um, but, you know, I suspect or I, I believe that it's probably still good to get a little bit of breast milk in there as part of uh, the infant's diet.